All right, it looks like we are live. So let me click, click, click. And good evening. Welcome, everybody. So this is our day three to the Empower You Bootcamp for Success, um, our end of the year free program. And I never do a uh, live night program. So this is a really special treat, and I hope that you all enjoy it very much. I wanted to provide an opportunity to, to come on live during the evening hours. Uh, for those of you who are um, typically busy during the day, we have been hosting our program at 11 a.m. or 10 a.m. Pacific each morning. And um, tomorrow we will go back to the morning hours or mid-morning hours. But one of the days I wanted to do an evening program. So here we go. So welcome to 1228. Um, just a couple more days until we hit the new year. And this has been going really well. And I'm really excited for all of the awesome feedback that I've been getting from you phenomenal women. So the Empower You Bootcamp for Success is our opportunity to take a quick, deep dive into all of the things that we have set up for ourselves look at the way in which that we do things, the way in which that we plan for things, how intentional or not we are um, as we are moving forward into the 2024 year. So for the first couple of days, we talked a lot about the different um, components to the boot camp for success. I shared with you how I got started and and how you know what prompted me to leave a corporate environment that I was ex exclusively working in, and really take all of my training and education and experience and desire to create and put it down and start creating a business that would really help women entrepreneurs to grow their organizations, women businesses to grow their companies, um, and to really find that that balance of, um, you know, that work-life balance that we always seek and that we talk about so much. And I, I talked in our day one about what it really took was a, a hard jarring of leaving a very um, volatile relationship, a very abusive relationship to be able to decide that I was important enough to recognize the dreams that I had and to follow them and to relentlessly pursue them. Um, and so I surrounded myself with phenomenal women. I put myself through a, a counseling program. Then I found coaching and I just fell in love with the industry. And what is better than women helping other women to succeed and creating this sisterhood of a community um, and, you know, long, you know, a couple of years down the road, uh, we turned into the Empowerment Empire, where we now uh, provide online educational courses for women. We've produced several books. We just launched our first 500-page um, annual planner, for those of you that like to write out your plans, I of which am definitely one of them. Um, so you can buy that now on Amazon, um, you know, as well as our live programs, our International Women in Business Monthly Mastermind. We are building a whole amazing host of phenomenal women to be uh, guest speakers for the 2024 year. We host the annual May Money Talks Mastermind, a program that speaks with women, by women, of women, for women, all about wealth and wealth management and development um, and generational wealth and how to take care of our families. And it's just become such an amazing experience that the more I do it, the more I'm immersed in the world of the empowerment empire, the more I love it so dearly. And so it's an honor to share with you um, a very rare opportunity of not only uh, a nighttime program, but also um, a free boot camp, um, which I, we do not offer very often um, through the Empowerment Empire. And so I'm so very excited that you're here with us today in the comments here on um, our, our Facebook Live in our Empowered uh, Woman by the Empowerment Empire Facebook group. Please give me a hello, say hello, let me know that you're watching, um, let me know that you have tuned in. I would love to thank you and recognize you for doing so. Um, and then if you are catching the replay, please still post your comments in the group. We will be following 
comments on each of the um, the five sessions for another week so that we can make sure to get back and answer all of the questions that you may have about the program. And if you um, don't hear back, then please uh, definitely email directly or find a way to reach out to me. So let's jump into it. So Empower You Bootcamp for Success has been a five-day program that we are right in the middle of providing to you that really talks to you about how we are able to pull it all together over the course of five days and look at what it is that we're doing, why we're doing it, um, and how we're doing it so that we can improve our lives. We are a group of entrepreneurs, a group of business owners and business women who are working on elevating um, professional development skills, personal skills, life skills, as well as, you know, things that we can implement to improve on our businesses as well, of course. So day one was all about personal empowerment mindset work. If you have not registered for this program, I will be posting the link. And when you register, you're able to download all of the workbooks that I have created. Several of them are 25 plus pages long. Tonight's workbook is 31 pages. Um, I will be sharing with you here shortly. And once you register, you can download the workbooks and you receive access to the Eventbrite online event page where you are able to then, of course, Save the Zoom link for future uh, broadcasts because we still have two more days to go, as well as re-watch all of the awesome programs that we have already provided to you. Each program is about 45, 50 minutes long. So on your drive to work or over your lunch break or when you have allotted yourself and scheduled your personal improvement, self-improvement or professional development time in your schedule, because that's so very important, you're able to watch the videos and really absorb the full, um, the full strength of the program that we're offering here today um, through the Empower You Bootcamp for Success. So day one was all about stand in your power. Make sure that you, you know who you are. You are shouting from the rooftops, your amazing self. We, we had an exercise where I have you write down all of the amazing qualities that make up you. And um, if you're worried about bragging to the world, then don't show anybody your journal. But the goal for day one was to brag to your heart's desire and call out the amazing components that make up you. And so I, I really am excited for you to go back and rewatch the personal empowerment mindset work for day one, where we infused all of that encouragement in you so that you could write up and write down and really Shout from the mountaintops how amazing you are and all of the all of the amazing things that you um, you provide as a business owner, as a professional, as you know, as a mom, as a partner, as a spouse. It is okay to recognize that you work hard to accomplish great things. And if no one else is patting your back, well, then you definitely need to be the one patting your back. So day one was all about that. Day two, goal creation and calendaring for success by creating your lists. We went down and we wrote up 11 different um, components to what you want your life to be made up of moving forward, whether it's in the next six months or 12 months or, or however. Um, it was all about let's create um, a list of the things that you want to do and the person that you want to be. And we created our to be lists. So day three, let me go ahead and share my screen now. Let's get back to the Zoom. And let me let's get back to our presentation page. Okay, there we go. Let's get that out of the way and share screen. I want to make sure that we get all the extra little screens out of the way. Okay, there we go. So today, day three, building your action plans, resource planning, and skills development. This is definitely part of our deep dive. So being that we are doing this in an evening program, I hope you have the energy for this. If not, 
once you print out your workbook for day three, which is already available on the website that you will have received access to once you have registered, um, then you will be able to rewatch the program and really spend some time completing that workbook. As I've said before, and I'm not sure if you have heard, if you haven't watched the previous programs, is that when you have registered, also you have an opportunity to receive the, the printed book that incorporates all five days of the Empower You Bootcamp that you can then rewrite um, either your current notes or, re, um, or revisit each of the uh each of the days so that you could put out your your information and write down your list and, and do some personal exploration so you almost get like a, a second program because for this first one I ask you to print out the workbook pages and once you complete it if you complete all of the all of the pages and if you contribute to the discussion and if you post um you know your some of your responses or if you email me directly and you you claim your one-to-one -one appointment then i send you a printed and bound book that is the complete empower you bootcamp for success so that you can then redo the bootcamp um, whenever you like so you essentially get two programs in one for free when normally we charge $1,500 for this program. So it's a, it's a really spectacular opportunity. So today we're gonna to be talking all about building your action plans, resource planning and skills development. This is our deep dive into your needed resources, skills development, and how to get all that you need to keep moving forward. It is one thing to create a great plan to accomplish your goals and dreams, and it is quite another to take action and start implementing that plan of yours. I realize I don't have this on presentation mode, so let's go ahead and do that. But you're not seeing all the things. There we go. That is so much better for you. Okay. And as you'll see, tomorrow is our support plan development. And then on Friday, or yes, on Saturday, on day five, we will be discussing bringing it all together, next steps, and then embracing the journey ahead, of course. So our focus today, resource planning and skills development. Resource planning and skills development, this is a comprehensive guide to action. Accomplishing your goals requires more than just a solid plan. It's essential that you ensure that you have all of the necessary resources at your disposal and the skills to keep you moving forward. You need the tools and you need the skills. So this guide in particular is going to help you build that tool chest, increase your knowledge bank, and acquire the skills that you need to make it all happen. You can certainly, you know, want to ride a bike and you've never ridden a bike before. So first you need to get a bike. Second, you need to practice your skills and you need to develop the bike riding skill. And it's the same with all things. You have to have a, a method to your approach. You need to have the tools that are required. You need the skills that you're going to need to get you there. This is where we are defining all of those things for you and with you. So first, we're going to be reviewing why this work is so critical. And then we'll be deep diving into the specific tasks and goals that you want to accomplish. So if you don't have your work printed, make sure you grab a notebook, like get up right now and go grab your, no your notebook because you're going to be needing notes for this. If you haven't downloaded um, the workbook yet, also feel free to take screenshots. Okay. So, um, so once we have identified the specific tasks and the goals that you want to accomplish from there, we explore the details of what it takes to continue working towards your goals and to get past obstacles because sister obstacles come up, things happen. Um, that is our first stretch alarm that just went off. Um, so let's take a pause for stretch because when the stretch alarm goes off, you stretch. Oh, okay. That's also something that we, we talk about often at the Empowerment Empire is make sure that you set moments, um, timers, um, calendar appointments for self-care, even if it's just a quick stretch. It's important. So next, once you've identified your resource needs and skills development plans, 
will then set your foundation for your action plans. Now I say we, but this is you. This is the work that you are doing because you are about to take radical responsibility to be the phenomenal woman that you know that you are. Then together we'll be determining the exact steps that you need to take to move beyond stagnation into a place of accomplishment. This is our deep dive into developing your needed resources, exploring essential skills development, and determining how to get all that you need to keep moving forward. So like I said earlier, it is one thing to create a great plan to accomplish your goals and your dreams. However, it is another to ensure you have everything you need to do so successfully. So when, if you had not attended the first two courses, and if you did not do the work that was asked of you, then this page might be a little different for you. So review and remember, if you haven't re, if you haven't done this pro previously, then do this now. So let's begin by rewriting your final to be list from day two below. In day two, we had you go through and write out priorities, the things that you wanted to be known for, the things that you wanted to accomplish, who is the person that you want to be, especially as we are going into a new year, and to write down those types of qualities, to, to write down that you want to be that successful business owner, you want to be organized, you want to be someone that um, prioritizes self-care and health and wellness, personal health and wellness. Um, you want to, you know, be the CFO at your firm. You want to be launching a new company in 2024. You want to be launching a new program. You want to write a book. These are examples. So if you haven't written already your uh, 11 to be's, um, then do so now while I continue to move forward in the course. If you have, grab your notes and write them down on this page for the session three. Then consider this, why? It's time to take an opportunity to remember why you are doing this. And I like to ask this um, when we are in the middle of, um, of a program, especially one that requires deep dives. So I, I like to remind you to think about why you are doing what you do. Why are you sitting, you know, um, wherever it is that you are and participating in this program and listening to this information? Why are you doing this? Why? Make sure that it is important to you. Take an opportunity to remember why you are doing this. For each of the previous 11 items on your to-be list, write out your why for each of them in the space that is provided below here. So you're going to have your two pages next to each other. Your to-be list rewritten from day two, and then your page um, for whys so that you can look at number one, I want to be the CFO of my firm. And number one on the why page is why do you want to be the CFO of your firm? As you will recognize, we start in one area and we tease it apart and we get down to the brass tacks, right? We get down to the nitty gritty. We get down into the weeds and the details of why, what is it that makes that important to you? And when you realize why these things are important to you. It is where you find the drive to continue moving forward. It is where you find the drive to, to go through a, a five-day boot camp. This is not easy. It takes discipline. This is work. This is the type of work that I have my clients perform on a pretty consistent basis to make sure that we are always heading in the right direction. It is good to consistently take personal inventory and look at where you are and where do you want to go? And why do you want to go there? So for each of the previous 11 items that you wrote down, write out your why for each of them in the space provided below. Be thorough in this exercise and really consider what prompted this item and what makes it so important to you at this moment in your life. Why is it 
now is a good time for you to be launching that new program? Why is it now is the best time for you to be, uh, you know, planning the new business or the new arm to your company? Why is now the right time to make these decisions? Maybe you're just fed up with not completing something. Maybe you're, you're, you're tired of not succeeding the way in which you truly desire to. Maybe that's your why. Write it down. This notebook is for you. This is for you to review and for you to tell yourself and remind yourself why it's important that you are intentionally focused on your pathway forward, that you are taking radical responsibility for yourself on your new way forward. This is why that you do these things because you are not satisfied with what you currently have or you are fairly satisfied with what you currently have, but you know there's more. There's You know that you are a lifelong learner and that you can always learn something new and you are better for it. Maybe that's why that you wanna learn something new. So consider those suggestions when you are writing down why these 11 components to your life are important to you. Next, consolidate your data and define your needs. So this is very action oriented. So like I said earlier, you're probably going to want to print out the workbook, join me here in the live program, and then moving forward, rewatch the video and go back and spend an adequate amount of time writing in your workbook so that you're able to truly get the benefit of critical thinking for yourself and of and which that you want to be um, providing for yourself and for your family and accomplishing for yourself, thus accomplishing for your family. So on this page here, for each of your 11 items, you're going to write out two to three elements in terms of tools needed or skills needed to accomplish each element. Start thinking about where you require the necessary skills and the tools that you have stated that you will be needing. What do you need to make these things come true? Is it a goal? Is it a dream? Is it a credential? Is it a certification? Is it a, a personality trait that you are, are wanting to acquire for yourself? So for each of those elements that you have listed, write out two to three elements of each in terms of tools you need or skills that you need to be able to accomplish that goal or that task or to embody that personality trait. This you will notice um, is straight out of my project management playbook. It's we take our goal and we tease it apart and we break it down into its smallest pieces. Because when you have one giant big goal, it can seem a bit overwhelming or it could seem a bit daunting to think I can absolutely accomplish that right now, here and now today. If you break that down into all of its parts, then every day you check off one of those elements and you are one step closer. And some days you might check off two to five of those elements and you are even closer to accomplishing your goal. It takes the scariness out of change, out of progress. It shows you what intention can really do for you, what radical responsibility and true intention can really do for yourself by breaking it down into its parts and just accomplishing one piece at a time. It's not so scary. It's not so daunting. It's completely doable. And that's what I want you to see here is that when you define your goals and your dreams or the skills that you want to develop, then, then it is so much easier for you to actually accomplish them. All right, next. So for each of the items, again, we are building off of previous pages. So if you haven't done day one, go back and watch day one and do day one workbook. If you haven't watched day two, then go back and do day two because day three, we are continuously building. We are doing one little piece each day. And today is a larger dive into what it is that we are actually trying to accomplish here. So the next steps to becoming this type of person or the next steps to having this thing that you want, that you said that you want, 
For each of your items listed above on that previous page of 11 elements, this is where your work to achieve those items truly begins. So you're rewriting that task or the goal that it, that it lines up with. You write down a bit of a flexible accomplished date. So you know that today is December 28th, and by this time next year, you most certainly want to be in your own new home. So you could roughly write in December 28th of 2024. Give yourself also an opportunity to put a range down. Um, you know, you want to do this by spring. So let's say you want to have something accomplished by March in spring of 2024. So you could just put end of March, 2024. Then list the first three resources or the skills that you need. So what are your tools? What are your tools or your skills that you're going to need to move forward on accomplishing this task? So the previous page, I said, write down a few things. Here, we are writing three things down that you know you are going to need to accomplish this goal. And then when you do it, write down the completion date of when you have acquired those resources or those skills and you are ready to move on to the next stage of accomplishing your dream of who you are to become or what you want to have or what you want to create or to develop or produce or provide. Whatever that task or that goal is, when you do it, when you have all the tools and the skills, then go ahead and write that completion date that tells you I have all of the things that I need. Now I get to go do it. These items are now the next set of small steps that you need to conquer to get one step closer to accomplishing your task and becoming the next great version of yourself. The goal of day three today is to show you it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be overcomplicated. In fact, it's rather simplified on how you can write out your goals, tease apart the components of each of them, and take each little step and to continue moving forward to accomplishing what it is that you want to accomplish. Whether it's buying a house or organizing your calendar, there is a way that you can successfully do it on a consistent basis. So now there are 11 of these pages that correspond with the 11 goals or tasks that you have previously stated you want to accomplish. So I'm going to just keep skipping through until we get to the end of all of these. There we go. So next, the next steps to becoming or having is to ask yourself, where will your desire for happiness and success take you next? We this is a bit of a pause. So we took a pause earlier when we asked why you want to, you know, acquire or accomplish or become or have these elements, these 11 things. We took a pause to ask you why. Now we take a pause to remind you or to ask you, where will your desire for success and happiness take you next? If you have these things, if you become this person, what will it do for you? Now that you have listed out your needed resources and your skills for each of your tasks and your goals, your next step is to organize them in order of how greatly it will improve your immediate life. Does this match up with your due date? These are exploratory questions. If you need a new house now, but you put the deadline as 12 months, maybe you need to reconsider pulling in your deadline a little bit because it, it will immediately improve your life and it's something that is critical to your happiness and, and your ability to have success. Because if you're not stable, you're not happy, you're not inspired, you struggle to find creativity to, to take that next level, take that next leap to find the success you are striving to achieve. So think about that. Then place each of those elements into categories Organize your stated tasks and goals in a category such as this is for, this will improve my home life. This will improve my professional life or my business life. By accomplishing this goal, it will help my family to be happier, closer, more prosperous. And will it be 
ex exclusively for your own personal growth because you you need to be growing on a consistent basis because you want to have you know, continuous new knowledge that you can absorb and then embody and embrace and then share with others? Is it because you simply need to experience personal growth? Within each category, place your tasks or your goals in order of your accomplishments, accomplishment dates. This is, this is us keeping you organized. Revisit the due dates if necessary. So look at your life and look at the due dates that you have set down for the 11 top things that you want to accomplish. Consider, are your deadlines realistic? Look at your actual calendar. Have a conversation with your children. Have a conversation with your spouse, with your partner, with your business uh, partner, with those in your life that influence you or you have influence over share this with them it's something that i have repeated throughout the course of the program is share what you're doing here with those around you that those with those people that care about you and that you care for that you are destined you are determined to improve your life because you are destined for greater why are you doing that what specifically are you doing to improve upon your life so Revisit those due dates if necessary on when you are going to feasibly be able to accomplish something. Let's be realistic. And then remember your goals should be smart. Goals as discussed in previous Empower You courses, create your smart goals. And then each evening in preparation for the next step, review your upcoming responsibilities. Review your upcoming tasks and your goals Review the things that you have coming up so that you can get yourself prepared to keep moving forward and accomplishing your dreams. Successful people are prepared. They are successful because they plan for success, because they are on top of things that need to be accomplished, that they don't just let things fall by the wayside, that they are committed to their goals and are relentlessly pursuing them they do so in a way that's organized and calm and collected. So it's not overwhelming. So it's actually fun and you really enjoy the experience. So each evening, give yourself an opportunity to prepare for the next day or prepare for what's coming next. For future reference, remember to spend a weekly moment to review and sync your calendars. This is something that is so crucial. I do it at least three times a week. And then I definitely spend a Sunday evening at my table, at my desk, in the dining area with all my calendars and my computer and my phone. And I get all of my appointments synced up. I, so this is the way that we don't forget things that we don't let things fall by the wayside, that we are intentional about the way that we live our lives. You want to improve your life? Be intentional about it. Take the necessary steps to keep you moving forward. Stay organized. This is how you organize yourself. You give yourself an opportunity, maybe shut Netflix off for the evening and sit with your calendars. Sit with your partner or your spouse or your family and say, you know, we are going to have a quick 30 minutes where we all make sure that we know what we're doing next, next week. What a great opportunity to connect with your children, teaching them how important it is to plan for the future. So sync your calendars, adjust your tasks so that you can stay intentionally prepare, prepared for what is coming next. This works out to be an hour a week for me personally. Um, I have family planning time each week to every other week so that we are all aware of what we are doing and what we are all working on. So I will look at my daughter's calendar as well as my own calendar for you know every month and then I review it each week. Things shift, new things come up and it's okay that they do just take those new appointments and reasonably move them into your schedule. Readjust your plan um, if need be. So schedule your upcoming, your upcoming coaching appointments, your upcoming office appointments, and any upcoming personal or family wellness appointments on your calendars and any family members' calendars as well. 
share your appointments with anyone who needs to be aware of them, whether they are participating in the appointment or they just need to know. Remember to keep a flexible mindset when you're doing this, that it will take some practice. It might take longer for you to sync all your calendars the first couple of times, but then you know exactly what you're doing and you, you find yourself regularly doing it anyways. It is okay for plans to change. Remember that it is okay for plans to change so long as you control the direction of the change as soon as you can to get back onto your path. This is why we build roadmaps to begin with, and this is how we keep ourselves on track. It's how we get back on track when we are pulled away, is we have a plan to begin with. This is where we develop the components of those plans to move forward. To accomplish our goals, we need to accomplish these five things. Well, if if that, you know, thing three something happens and you get pulled off your path and you need to go handle an emergency or something changes or a visitor shows up at your door or something different happens that that changes your normal course of direction when that has subsided then you know what you can do to get back on track because you have built the plan you know what you know where you left off and you know what you need to get back on to I know it's a lot. This is why we don't call it a boot camp or nothing. It is like a fire hose of information, which is why um, I encourage you to print out the PDFs of the workbooks, rewatch the videos um, so that you can really dedicate a good hour a week or hour a day for five weeks to go through this course again for yourself. Um, take each of the five lessons. I think the first two lessons could probably be done in this in the same day, but today definitely needs its own day as well as it, it might even need two days, depending on how you absorb information and, and how thorough you're allowing yourself to be on writing the details up of your, your action plans for tasks that you want to, um, you know, put on your, on your list and the goals that you know that you want to acquire or achieve and the elements of each that you are going to need to be able to accomplish those things. So consider this as a precursor to you actually taking action. So get it in your brain. It's time to take action. You have completed, once you have completed this work, you have completed, you will have completed a great deal of work over the course of these last three days in the Empower You Bootcamp for success. If, if you have completed all of the work thus far from each of the previous books and the pages, within this one, I can imagine your brain is so full that you're probably thinking you can no longer fit any more information into your brain, but you can. Here is where you are really about to advance. This is where the shift happens right here, right now, at this point in the game. This is you dedicating to yourself that you are going to be taking radical responsibility for your success, for yourself to move forward down the path that you have chosen, that you want to go down to improve your life. This is when the line between the doers becomes obvious. This is your opportunity to step over that line, to keep moving forward to the success that you very much so deserve. And you will see how it feels to truly become an action-taking woman in your own life. Your next step starts now by reading out loud the first five moving forward mantras in the list below. So you might be grateful to hear you don't have to write anything for this. This is pure absorption. Your next step starts now by reading out loud the first five Moving forward mantras listed below are great moving forward mantras that I like to, uh, that I like to say out loud. Then for every moment in the next few days, when you feel overwhelmed or like you just don't want to do the work, I empower you to read five more every single time. Try this for the next 30 days, and this is a challenge for you. 
I know that if you do this, I know you will see a difference in your perspective. Whenever you're feeling like you're overwhelmed, like you just don't want to move forward, like you just don't want to get out of bed, like you just don't want to finish watching the video, like you just don't want to complete the PDF, you just don't want to do the rest of the workbook because whatever reason, I want you to take a moment and read five moving forward mantras. So I will read five. Ready, set, moving forward. I'm letting go. It's not perfect, but I'm embracing the process. I'm listening to my heart. I'm putting myself first now. Just five each day for the next 30 days. Pick and choose. You could be super strategic about it and go down the list and check them off. Or you could just pick up the page, take a screenshot of the page with your phone so you have them on your phone. Just zoom in, whatever first five catches your eyes. I, I challenge you to do this because as you have already seen, we are halfway through this workbook and it is a lot. You are, you are intentionally making a shift in the way in which that you do things. And it's not going to be entirely easy, but it is absolutely worth it. Yesterday, we talked about habit stacking, about how it is such a great way to, um, to add a, a new, healthy, positive habit to your life is by stacking it up against with something else. So for example, I need to do more stretching in my life. So I incorporate Pilates after making my matcha tea latte every morning, because by habit, I get up and I make my matcha green tea latte before I take my shower in the mornings. Well, before I get in that shower, as my milk is steaming, I have time for a quick two to three moment, minute session of a stretch Pilates opportunity. So I, I encourage you to find time for yourself to, to accomplish these things and then re realize and recognize when you're just kind of starting to get fed up with it. And take a pause and sit back and read five moving forward mantras. Try it for 30 days. If after 30 days, you're like, nope, this doesn't work for me. You know what? At least you accomplish something new over the course of the next 30 days. If you're finding that you struggle to keep things progressing, you are determined to, to put in, uh, you know, time blocks in your calendar and you, you continuously fail to do it. Start with something that you will absolutely see a change in your perspective with. Five moving forward mantras. Every time you feel like you're just getting overwhelmed or you just don't want to do it, remind yourself why. Bring yourself back to center. This is how successful people become successful is they are intentional about it. They are relentless in pursuing their goals and their dreams because they know what the outcome is because we know how good it feels to succeed. So set yourself up for success. Be intentional, be responsible. If something comes up, if you need to take a break, by all means, sit back and take a break. And when you feel recharged, Pick up your, pa your plan and get back on track because that's the plan you designed for yourself. Knowing this is a path that you want to go down. Just some food for thought. So now that you are really ready to take the necessary action to truly step into your intended self, and I, I know that you are, before we start the day four program, I want you to get all of the things, all of the blocks, et cetera, that will work to divert you back to your previous non-productive habits. So in the space below, I want you to draw out, get a little creative on us, or write down all of the barriers that you can think of right now, starting with time, energy, and space. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy, I have space, whether it's mental space, physical space, actual space that is going to block you 
from your next step, from accomplishing the goals. Um, maybe you can write down, I am knee deep in my Netflix series and I don't want to give that up because that's what I do in the evening. I, I have plans every Sunday, so I can't sit with my calendar and rework my calendar on Sunday evenings. Oh, I need to go to sleep by such and such time. Well, maybe you should go to sleep earlier the day prior, get a little exercise, eat well, you'll have more energy so that on Sunday evening, before you go to sleep, you do take on the responsibility of working through your calendar. So let's get all those out, right? Let's get all those out. Write down all of your excuses right here on this page. It's just for you, but just get it out. Get it out of the way. Write it down, and then you can laugh at yourself and say, wow, I'm willing to put a Netflix series in front of me becoming a better, more organized professional. And then we get to weigh those scales. Is it really more important? You know, Netflix has pause. Things to consider. This was a lot. And we are almost at our, at our time. So I want you to sit back and I want you to think about all that you have learned thus far. When I want you to grab your phone and grab your calendar and I want you to set some time for you to review day one and day two so that you are thoroughly pleased with your responses in the day three workbook. I want you to set that time in your calendars right now that you are able to do that for yourself because you are taking radical personal responsibility, right? This is what this is all about. You are going through a five day boot camp for success and it's five days. Five days. Give yourself the opportunity to succeed by trying something new. So considering all that you have learned thus far over the course of the last three days, I want you to journal your overarching thoughts on this experience. You could say, oh, the hill talks way too fast. I don't think her, her coaching style is going to work for me. The hill's too much of a fire hose. She gives me too much information all at once. And that's okay. Be honest. Maybe you write down, you haven't written so much in a while, you're getting a hand cramp. Keep it, keep it honest. I really, truly look forward to learning about your experiences, what you gain from the book, this book here, as we continue to build it together, what you learned about the processes, what you've learned about yourself, in addition to what you plan to do differently moving forward. I think it's a, a great opportunity that you are providing to yourself, that you are willing to sit here for an hour, one hour a day, for five days to listen to the program and then whatever um, extra amount of time that it might take you to write down your thoughts, your goals, your tasks, your wishes, your dreams. What is that worth to you? Think about that. Give yourself an opportunity to try something new. This is most certainly something that you don't get to have very often. We don't get to put a five-day full-fledged boot camp out here for free for you to embrace and absorb. So think about what prompted you to be interested in this program, what prompted you to say that you might need to try something different or that you're not entirely receiving the results from what you're currently doing. So maybe it's time to add something else to the mix of what you're currently doing. And of course, I always like to provide you with additional resources through the course of the Empower You Bootcamp for Success. So the Daily Planner for Projects, you can get at the Library of Empowerment at womensempowermentcoach.us. I will post the direct link, but if you simply go to womensempowermentcoach.us and go to the Library of Empowerment, you will find all of these additional resources like the Daily Planner for Projects. It's a PDF that you gain instant access to that you can download so that you can walk through steps to creating a time management or, or project management timeline so you can manage 
the the projects, the tasks, the goals that you want to be accomplishing. It's different ways in which that you can look at accomplishing something. It's straight from the project management playbook that I love so much. Um, you can benefit from the different checklists that I've already created for you, which remind you of the steps that it's recommended that you take uh, to accomplish a particular goal as you, you know, define this, get your tools and your resources. Set aside time in your calendar to do the work, review the work that you've done, et cetera. And then following the project management focus pages in the workbook, there's also a seven day planner um, that you can repeatedly print out to keep you organized and moving forward in your daily success. If you're really ready for next level, then you can go to Amazon and get um, the daily planner for the woman entrepreneur. And I will, of course, post that link as well here so that you'll be able to, to access that. And then, you know, a little bit about me. I have, you know, over 20 years of experience in business, finance, executive development, mentoring, and coaching from Sacramento Valley to the San Francisco Bay Area to Southern California and now globally online. I am a Cali girl to the heart. I love my ocean. Um, and I have lived and traveled um, lots of different places throughout the United States and throughout the globe. Um, I love the diversity of our world and I have learned so much from interacting and embracing other people, different cultures, different methodologies to accomplishing things. And I'd love sharing them with you. And, and that's how the Empower You Bootcamp sort of was, was shaped by my experiences and what I found worked best, not only for me, but for other people, as well as my clients, as well as, you know, other business professionals who are very, very successful. It's, it's breaking things down into its smallest manageable parts and then checking it off the list as you keep moving forward. And don't remember, and don't forget, through collective collaboration, we all rise. It is the mantra of the empowerment empire. Through collective collaboration, we all rise. If there is any need that you find yourself with, or you don't know what you need, but you know you're not extremely 100%, um, you know, satisfied with where you're currently at, ask for help. If you don't reach out to me to book a session, then reach out to someone else that you know, because together is how we truly all rise. I am going to stop sharing this now. And I want to say that I, I truly am grateful that you all have decided to join me in the evening program of the Empower You Bootcamp for Success. I know it's a lot of information, thus it's called a bootcamp. Um, it's a lot of information all at once, but I absolutely trust and believe that you can do it. If you need help with this, don't forget to reach out. This is a lot of information that I give to you, especially if you're not used to working with me. Um, this is sort of a quick view into what it is like to work with me as your coach, as your life coach, your business coach, your personal empowerment, professional development coach. It's The goal is to understand who you are and where you are and what you're doing with yourself and to define your next step and to get you there and to make it not so scary and make it not so daunting and make it fun and enjoyable so that it's something that you will also want to share with others. Because when you're happy, people around you are happy. And when you're successful, people around you are more successful. And so that's the goal of the empowerment empire to empower you to create the life that you know, deep inside that you really want to be living. Let's create it for you. Let's get together and let's make this happen. So thank you again so very much. I am Vahil Vigil, your women's empowerment, professional development and business coach. My company is the Empowerment Empire, coaching through therapeutic empowerment. And this is the Empower You Bootcamp for Success. Tomorrow, I will see you at day four. And I'm very much so looking forward to it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will post all of the links that we have previously mentioned and once you register, I will be sending an email out to everyone um, with this recording, as well as a way to access previous recordings and all of the downloadable workbooks. See you tomorrow.